Hello, welcome to Florian Models Kit Review Time. Today we've got something I've been wanting to do for absolute years. This is Special Hobbies 132nd Scale X15A2 Kit. Now, a um, little bit about this. Uh, basically, I love aviation, history, all those types of things like that. And half the reason for getting into this was basically because you wanted to build things that sort of, you know, spark the old imagination as a kid and all the bits and pieces. Now, obviously our younger modelers probably won't know what this is. Uh, this is before Apollo, the space missions and everything else like that, yet it's still one of the fastest aircraft ever produced or vehicles ever produced. Uh, this thing had a top speed of around about 6.7 that's mark which is miles an hour i've had to write this down is 4534 miles an hour or for the other one it's 7295 kilometers an hour and this thing actually flew up at 67 uh, 67 miles up so obviously we are talking right into space uh, and that's why uh, eight out of the 12 pilots who flew this actually have astronaut wings because they've been up there okay so you've got to imagine this was back in the 60s very early 60s metals aren't like they are now and everything else like that so to come up with something that would do all of this is absolutely amazing now this particular aircraft is actual the a2 version of this one and it comes with the fuel tanks okay these give it a little bit more range a little bit more punch and it's actually one of these that actually holds the speed record and it comes with a ground dolly at the back the tail is normally the same height as the top but it's jettisoned just before landing uh, and you actually get the dolly so it could be used as a recovery because obviously normally it just has skids this thing has no wheels uh has a nose wheel but it's not steerable okay um and then obviously it's got uh, little feet at the back on skids so really it is like a crash landing it was basically designed designed as a research vehicle, <coughs> sorry, uh, designed as a research vehicle for really probing the edges of space and then basically trying to bring a vehicle back down, okay, from space, obviously through in through re-entry. The metals on this, it's a very complex one back in those days. It was some type of nickel woven thing and all the rest of it, uh, which was the strongest thing back then. But basically it was the predecessor um, to how the space shuttle did it. Um, knowing about thermal tiles and things like that it was all basically learned off of this one so you know there we go other interesting facts about this actual aircraft it was the first aircraft that had a proper ground simulator obviously there was one through world war ii for training purposes but this was a full simulator so it was the first aircraft ever to have one of those um, it only had two minutes of fuel from release uh, a little bit more with obviously exchange uh, with the external tanks on there as well which were jettisonable obviously when they were expelled used up they were expelled from the aircraft and then it went for it so that is about it so lovely box art as we can see down there and just running around the box as you know with these ones you don't get much on here so the kit number is sh32031 okay same on the other side and just round there yes i bought this one at telford and it cost me how much did it cost me i can't remember now um 62 i think it was uh something uh that's euros i do believe down there so um whatever that was in pounds okay if we get the box lid off now special hobby um, we've looked, done some of their kits before, we've looked at some of their kits and everything else. You've got to remember they are almost a, um, a, a show run kit, okay, or a limited run kit. So don't expect them to be, you know, Tamiya, Hasegawa, things like that. But what you do get is what you find in here is all this lot. And down in here we've got a massive bag of goodies and things like that, okay. So first up we'll have a look through the instructions. So needless to say, where I got a lot of my information from, just down here. Okay, I'm talking about the X15. Okay, the actual parts layout for all your, your sprue layout and your bits and pieces just like that. Okay, this is all your resin parts as well, so you can make sure you've got them all first. Obviously your photo etch, your clear film, and we've got some wire in there and there should be a clear part as well okay and then basically going round now as we said before with the special hobby stuff things like that the short run but then don't be put off by that because they add a far more detail through the use of photo etch resin parts and everything else so really what we're talking here is a mixed uh, media kit okay 
So, usual thing, running right way through the build. So we've got your cockpit area, liven it up, obviously with all the areas in like that. The actual ejection seat into the aircraft and everything else. The instrument panel is a decal film system, which is gonna go on there and then putting that through, say more bits and pieces down here for completing your cockpit and then you're inserting it up into your model, okay? Two piece fuselage system, it's a little bit troublesome putting these two halves together, but you take your time with it. Um, just do them separately put them in, make sure they're perfect, then bring them together because these edge ones are a lot easier to fix than doing it the other way around. You see it then obviously get installed in there. Obviously it's got things like pitot tubes, stuff like that. Obviously I'd put them in well at the end of the build and not now. Okay, and then right the way through. So you've got these tiny little stubby wings that are gonna go on there. Obviously the tailplane's going on there as well top of the actual tail system being installed onto this all the various parts and components going into that one which is a nice little touch and then obviously that being put on okay uh you've got dive brake system on here obviously on the side of the tails they open up you can have them open or closed personal choice okay more little lumps and bumps going on the front obviously you'd probably do those last the nose wheel gear going in onto that okay and this is showing it with a speed brake in the sort of open position down in here Okay, adding that one on. This very famous engine, which actually has got something like a thrust to uh, power ratio of around about 57,000 pounds of thrust out of this bad boy. Okay, very nicely done. As I said, it's a nice deep set one as well. So it's, it shows really what it is. Okay, and then obviously cockpit open or closed as you can imagine. The fuel tanks, uh, obviously plates for the top that are the attachment points. Okay, getting those all sorted. And in the back, this is where that wiring is coming in. So you can actually put wiring to actually detail up the tops of these tanks, which is a beautiful little touch, showing all the marks and everything else, as you can imagine, down in there. All right, and the same on the other tank. And for the rear portion of the tank as well, showing about wiring up those details. Okay, and then the actual uh, nose wheel. No, this is the dolly, sorry. So this is the dolly set, which is gonna fit underneath, okay, and bolts to the underside of the actual system. So nice info all about those, some nice drawings as well, showing you exactly how they're gonna be fitted and how they're gonna go on, okay? And then actually fitting it to the tail. So it doesn't look like it comes with the full length of tail. It might do in there, we'll have a look in a moment. But obviously don't forget, it detaches the lower part of this tail so it can land, basically, because without it, it parachutes down and they pick it up and reuse it later. Okay, so there we go, that's it all shown. And there is the bad boy itself, okay? So it's pretty much black, but it has different colors of black all over it, okay? So it's different shades, obviously there's metal colors. And then in references, um, some of the, the reference I've got is this one actually, and it shows it with the white underneath, okay? Right the way through, so it's quite a nice touch, but it does have different shades of metals on this one in different areas, okay? There's another one there. And then obviously for this fuel tank system, so um, you know, you've got different things in here with the markings and everything else like that, as you can see them on the box art as well, and some of the aircraft that they do as well. So as you said, as you can imagine, quite excited about this one. Uh, I think we'll look at the other bits in a minute, next media bits in a minute. Let's have a look in the bags. So as you can imagine, this is a bit of a lump, all right? It's 30 second. So it is quite big. So this is what we're talking about, how the details are all there. It's all recessed panel lines, all right? But they're just a little bit chunky, all right? There's nothing wrong with them, it's just chunky, okay? So expect your usual types of things and don't expect, you know, detail and crisp parts and everything else like that. But generally it is all here. Just a little bit flashy. We've got a little bit of flash running around on this. And I just grab the camera and we just drop this down a bit <clears throat> okay as you can see so we've got a little bit of flash around the back front but generally you might be able to see we've actually got some very nice details on this and some nice riveting detail obviously the excess hatches all those things a bit difficult on this gray all right but you can see down there but also other things again bit flashy bit chunky but nothing that can't be cleaned up very very easy so we've got the wheels okay and the areas down at the back here again the inside you can see little things like you know even the centers for the ejector bins are well off center and everything else like that so generally pretty nice down on this side this is the back of the fuselage uh this is the belly okay this is the underside you can see you've got some nice texture okay just got some little things that aren't particularly nice on this one some little lumps and bumps and things like that but generally 
nothing that can't be cleaned up. Got a little bit of a mist mold down here. Okay, but again, nothing that can't be sorted out. A bit flashy and everything else. Okay, there's the um, around the nozzle area at the back. Okay, and some of the other parts. But again, nothing on the inside as you'd expect. Okay. And then down into the wing sections. Obviously, you are going to have to do a little bit of clean up work because these have all got to come off because they're quite raised and pronounced so you have to get rid of all of them before the wings go together as you can imagine it being a high-speed vehicle like this is um there isn't going to be many access panels and stuff because they're just going to get ripped open okay but generally you can see some nice riveting on the actual hatches that are there got this little guy just down here and everything else very nice to see everything but obviously these are going to have to be sanded out the way okay so take them out all right but generally very nice very clean Okay, so we've actually got the, what's that here, is that, is that, is that is the bottom. Okay, so we've got the tail system down here. Again, very rough, very textured. Uh, some of the other uh, plates and things like that down there, very nicely done. Very nice, this sort of stressed skin type effect on this one. It's not just the way it actually is, it's like a corrugated skin on them. Looks very nice indeed. Generally, no problems with it at all. As you imagine, you can see on the blank side, there is nothing to this one at all you know it isn't anything that's going to be on this side because it's all molded on one side okay again down here we've got very little on the inside some funny molds down here it hasn't cleaned out the mold gonna take a little bit of cleaning a little bit of sorting out some of these parts but generally not too bad at all so as you can see just working on looks very plain and boring because obviously all the detail comes in a minute this gives you the shell okay and then what happens is is once you get uh, going with this one you actually add all the details in a moment so this is the sort of option with this kit because it comes with this so we've got the wire for the fuel tanks okay just a little bit of copper wire and these are just going to be a max pair okay these are your actual your fuel tanks giving you an idea of the size of this thing they are quite big these are the actual locating uh, points to these and the bolts all right again nothing on the inside no line up tabs or anything else to put these together so it is going to be a case of two halves lots of sanding sorting out and everything else but again very nice they fade out completely but you're going to have to re-scribe it anyway right the way round. but some nice details on those tanks are so just a little bit at the edges of the mold they just fade off to nothing okay now the good bit okay so these have all been nicely put in here so what we'll try and do is get these out so that should be a bit like that okay so if we look at the resin parts first okay always keep all the flashy bits because you never know all right so just looking around generally in here so um not quite sure what those are so they are detailed on the outside obviously i think these are the mountains these are the actual um pylons that mount underneath the wing system for the fuel tanks okay pretty sure about those because they've got some nice molding plus it has to be that side it's a nice riveting detail down the side of those so we've got two of those various little bolts and things as you can see there and again we've got a load more on here seem to be all very nice on there a couple of bolt uh, plates as well i've got a feeling that's the dolly set down the back where they join the, the actual aircraft itself this is your nozzle okay and as you can see some nice details on there i've got a feeling we might have chipped a few off down at the back here but generally you can see probably the texture in this it's all ribbed right the way down in there okay then we'd have to look for the heart of it It'll be in here in a moment nose wheel as you can see nice detail on that one or is it a dolly wheel actually i think this might be a dolly wheel these are the dolly wheels at the back again nice textured and everything else like that and then generally you see we've got piping hosing all the details on all of these down here we've got vents okay which are hollow which are very nice actually they're full length hollow as well they're not just on the top there so i was going to redo them with tubes actually you probably won't have to you can use those very nice more of those bolts okay the actual dolly main part itself at the back where this is going to sit with everything coming off again all completely done in resin 
All right, okay, some of the other areas, some nice eyelets, things like that. Again, we've got another one of those, that's a match pair. Okay, some of the other bits. Okay, air scoops, things like that. Again, this is why you check it. You might notice down here, that's a bolt, that's a genuine bit. Okay, so just be careful that you don't lose any of these parts. Even these thin bits, keep them because you never know what they are until you get going. More of the details, as you can see, some very nice stuff on this. Very nicely done. Home system, more of the bolts. There's that missing bolt off of that one. And generally, just looking through, you can see it's beautifully cast. Some very nice casting in here. No problem. These are obviously the hydraulic jacks for lifting it up. Okay base plates, things like that. Generally, all seem to be very nicely molded and they're all good. Okay, so we're just gonna take them, pop these back in here so we don't get the sets mixed up because that is obviously all the dolly. Okay, so I just wanna put this lot back before we lose it because I don't wanna get them contaminated between each other. Again, not a big fan the way these are just chucked in a bag like this because resin is a lot stronger than I think a lot of people give it credit for, or most resin, okay? But it is just that thing where, you know, when you get them running around a bag, these aren't so bad, they're in a box, they're stapled down, but sometimes when they're not, they can have a habit of breaking. Now, as I said, I'm gonna keep all these because, hell, you never know. So it's all gonna go back in the bag. Yeah. I've been caught before where I thought, oh, that's just a bit of, you know, nothing. And then actually, no, it was some, something, okay. Okay, and then this guy down here, which I presume is the aircraft one itself, unless it's more of it. Again, very nice touches. I've got a feeling that's the center off of there. The actual engine itself, I think that's the center. One of them is, got two cones down the back there. All these small parts, again, very nicely done. Part of the ejection seat there, off the back. This guy here, I assume that is genuinely over. Okay, all of those just like that. Some very nice stuff, okay. And then in our little bag, uh, so let's do cockpit first, then we'll come to that one. So the canopy is a one piece vac form, I think, oh no. No, it looks like this is injection. Yeah, I think it was, well, it's looking injection. Okay, now this part looks horrible like this, but by the time it gets painted up and put on, honestly, it'll be absolutely fine. Okay, it's just the way it is, all right? So as I said, looking like something off a Batmobile. Okay, you can see some very nice touches on this. If you have it in the open position, like it's showing on the box, it looks absolutely fantastic, okay? So that actually is a nice piece. I think it's actually injected. I don't think it's back form. It just looks like back form. Okay, last up, just down in here, we have the decals and the photo etch and the film. Okay, so looking at the photo etch first, nice photo etch sheet. So there's your instrument panel, all your details on the side, everything else. Yes, you are going to paint it, but at least it gives it a lot more detail than having a blank in there. If you didn't want to go down that route, obviously you could just do it canopy closed and nobody will see any of it. Okay, so that's that one there. Then we've got the actual instrument decal film. Okay, so this would normally go paint it white and then it'll go behind the instrument panel, giving you all the dials and details and everything else in there like that, which actually does look very, very good. Very impressed with that, okay. Then you've got the decals. So you've got NASA down on here, all right. And then obviously the US Air Force one and then obviously all the markings and all the bits and pieces down there. And I assume this is the one for the fuel tanks okay for the ground dolly uh, as well and the bits and pieces as your optional extra so there we go there you have it again a special hobby don't expect that this is going to be a tamiya x1 um it's not this is something a little bit different a little bigger a bit more chunky and everything else like that but generally i think this is one of those sort of groundbreaking aircraft that sort of history is overlooked obviously i've never seen one in real life i'd love to see one when we get over to the states next time and perhaps go and find one in a museum but generally i think they're one of these aircraft that sort of overlooked but should be in everybody's collection or something else like that so it's nice to have it in 130 seconds scale something big something chunky and definitely something i'll be doing next year